All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn, pardon me, build a palindrome checker project. S user stories, uh, number one. All right. Anyway, that was a little messed up. It doesn't matter. So we should have an input element with an ID of text input. All right. Well, before we can even do that, we're going to need some boilerplate over here. Uh, so we could start off with like the doc type and all that stuff. What, like doc type, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're pretty far along in this. So let's just go and do something a little more programmer-ish. And let's open up the text editor, right? We got VS Code over here. Let's say file, new text file, select a language. Let's uh, go to HTML, boom, just like that. And then let's type in the exclamation point, choose the first one right here, and boom, we got the boilerplate thusly. So let's select it all with a control A, control C to copy it, come back over to here, and we'll just say control V thusly. All right, so now we got the boilerplate over here. So now we can put the input element with the ID of text input. So right in here in the body, we'll say uh, input. And then for the uh, ID, we'll say ID equals, that's not it, equals text hyphen input like that. And so we've got this over here where we can put it whatever we want in there. Uh, so let's go and open up the console, come down here, check the code. We should have a button element with an ID of check button. All right. Well, that's user story two. So that's where we are right now. So now we're on to user stories two. And we'll see you next time.